first. Joshua Dorr is here with Sport. Josh, Steve Smith is feeling pretty comfortable. It's not always the case, Michael. It's certainly been a struggle this week, but he's now back in comfortable surrounds. The world's best settling in to rekindle his MCG love affair. Frio's engine room hotting up ahead of a busy Christmas. And after another top gong, is Roger ready to swing into action? Steve Smith is confident a niggling back injury won't hamper his attempts to build on a superb Boxing Day record at the MCG. The Aussies arriving in Melbourne 1-0 up in the series, heading into Saturday's second test. Mission accomplished in Adelaide. Well done, mate. Yeah, good on you. Merry Christmas. Good on you, Skip. News. Mitch Marsh has kept the Canberra crowd on their toes tonight with some big hitting against the Sydney Thunder. Marsh top scoring with an unbeaten 52, including three sixes. Watch this handball at the chair. Look out. Oh, oh, and the beer's gone. He spilled it. Gee, that was dangerous. I hope he's all right. Oh, we all felt that one. Hunting their first win in the Big Bash this summer. The Scorchers have set Sydney a target of 153 runs. A month out from the AFLW's opening round, Dockers duo Cara and Ebony Antonio are putting opposition midfielders on notice. The fierce competitors pushing each other to new heights this pre-season. And there's no time for a break on a quick trip east for Christmas. They're happily married, but in the heat of battle, even love takes a bit of a back seat. <coughs> That's Cara selling candy to wife Ebony. Perks of the skipper's newly developed burst of speed. I've still got something left in the legs. I got pretty bored in COVID, so I smashed myself pretty much uh, twice a day. I've been leading the way the last couple of seasons, so I thought I'd be get, give her a shot this year. Not to be outdone, Ebony is fine-tuning her craft, preparing to join Kara in the engine room. I'm pretty sure that I'll be playing mostly wing this year um, with that versatility of going back and going forward. But I think we complement each other quite well. Um, my strengths are probably Ebony's weaknesses and vice versa, which um, when she strides out, I'm, I'm never going to catch her. But among the laughter remains the heartbreak of last season. Frio's undefeated run, counting for nothing, denied their shot at the club's first flag. Yeah, it could be a bit of a motivating factor. Um, you know, if we're down at three-quarter times, it might be spoken about in the rooms or something like that, just to give us a little bit of a oomph. The global pandemic helping put things into perspective. You realise what's really important and, look, we'll use it as fire in the belly, no doubt, but... Um, you know, we've kind of thought about it, pushed it aside now. And with the festive season ahead, nothing is more important than family, with a special Christmas Day getaway to Cara's home state of Victoria planned. My little niece got born uh, at the start of the year, haven't seen her yet. We'll be on a plane for the entire day of Christmas just to get over there, but we'll be doing a little bit of training and, and ticking those boxes to make sure when we come back we're, we're ready to go for, for our scratches and, and heading into the season. Tennis now, and while he only hit the court six times in 2020, Roger Federer is still the most popular man on tour. For an eighth, the 39-year-old has won six Australian Open crowns. In the EPL, Chelsea have bounced back after consecutive losses. The AFL fixtures and season mm. begins. More importantly, the AFLW just one month away. And I tell you what, if the Antonios are as fierce as they are against each other, opposition teams will have to watch out. Looking forward to it. Joshua Dorr, thank you. Stay with us next.